In this video, I'm going to show you how to mimic a hand-drawn animation style with one layer in After Effects that you can apply over anything. Now, this video is an updated method to a tutorial I did a few years ago. But this method is much simpler, much more flexible. I use it all the time. And of course, the project file is available to download for free in the description. So we've got this animation. This is all done with vector shape layers, but it looks too clean and too digital. Bleh, it makes me sick. We want to make it look more like it was traditionally animated frame by frame. Now there's no substitute for the real thing, but that takes time and money. And this will get us close and takes only two minutes and costs nothing. And there are two things that are gonna get us there. One is frame rate. This animation is at 24 frames per second. Yours might be 25 or 30, depending on the video standards in your country. And traditional animation was mostly done at 12 frames per second, because that means you only have to make half as many drawings. So let's add an adjustment layer over the top of everything by pressing Control, Alt and Y, or Command, Option, Y. And let's name that layer Effects, because we always label our layers. And now let's add the effect Posterize Time to that adjustment layer and set the frame rate to 12 frames per second. Now it looks a little choppier, but that's good. It immediately takes off that smooth digital sheen from the animation. And the second element we're gonna add is boil. Boil is when the lines in traditional animation move a bit between frames. If you're drawing the same line four times, it's not gonna be perfect. So the line appears to have this slight motion. So both of these methods are trying to imitate the imperfections of traditional frame by frame animation. And we can add boil with the effect turbulent displace. So let's add that to our adjustment layer. And we can see it's distorting our footage, but it's just too much at the moment. So let's turn the amount from 50 down to four. And if we toggle that effect on and off, we can see it's added a slight wobble to our animation. But those distortions don't move, the animation just slides underneath them. To make those distortions move, we need to open up the evolution options on Turbulent Displace and add a simple expression to the random seed property. Random seed is a number that generates the randomness of the distortion. So if we change this number, so we get a new distortion pattern and we want to mimic the effect of us constantly changing that number and scrubbing through it. So let's alt or option click the stopwatch next to random seed and then type in the simple expression time asterisk four. Now time gives the value in seconds of the time that has elapsed in this composition and multiplying it by four makes it four times faster. This composition is at 24 frames per second divided by four is six. So this distortion changes every six frames, which I think is a good rate that isn't too intense, but you still feel it. And if you want it faster, you can increase that number to maybe six or eight. And if it's warping too much, turn that down to maybe two. Now we might also want to mimic the texture of a pencil or a crayon or some other prehistoric mark making implement that the barbarians used before the good Lord blessed us with the pen tool. And now we can do by using the same effect, but on a smaller scale. So let's select this turbulent displace layer and duplicate it with control or command D. And in this one, let's turn the amount up to 30, but then reduce the size really low down to maybe two. Now we've got some small variations in our line that a rough pencil might make. And to add more texture, we can increase the complexity from one to two. And that just gives a bit more fidelity to these edges and makes them a bit rougher. You can increase this even more, but the more complexity, the more render time. And of course, this turbulent displays has the same animation on that random seed property, so it all moves together. And because all of these effects are on this adjustment layer, you can copy this over your whole project and anything underneath it will have this boil. Now for some extra variety in maybe the line width in some specific areas, we can choose a layer, this time our line, and add the effect rough and edges. <laughs> our line's so thin that pretty much gets rid of it. So we need to lower our border from eight to maybe two. Now we've got some good variation and maybe increase the edge sharpness from two to maybe five, just so it's a little crisper. And of course, all of these values can be tweaked to alter the strength of the effect. Now this boil is overall, I think a little bit strong. So I might turn down the amount on our first turbulent displace from four down to two, just so it's a bit more subtle. And to add some more imperfections, we can drag in a looping paper texture and set the blending mode to screen. And I've got a separate video tutorial about making those yourself. And again, you can download this project file for free down in the description. And I'd like to take the end of this video to tease my upcoming master motion design course, which is coming out in just a couple of weeks and there will be limited spaces available. So please sign up to my newsletter to be amongst the first to enroll. There is a link in the description. It's the biggest thing I have ever made. So I'm really excited to release it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn animation and motion design techniques, I've got a playlist of some of the best tutorials on this channel for you to take a look at. I'll see you in the next one.